Hello, everyone. Hello. Um, yeah. Okay. My name is Yang uh, Yang Song uh, in Chinese. Yang Yang. So from from Alibaba. Um, I'm very glad to have this uh, opportunity to um, to talk about how we what we can do, what we can bring to the table from the Alibaba's perspective. Okay. Um, okay. So yeah, for me, it's about. Um, 30 minutes okay to uh, to talk about share with what we can share from Alibaba's perspective side but not but today I'm not really going to talk about anything about technology I'm not really talk about how we uh, our business can collaborate with uh, with you guys okay and um, well very simple so from from uh, we our official name is Alibaba Cloud which is the technology division of uh, the entire uh, Alibaba group uh, and uh, I don't know whether you know any one of you have heard of Alibaba before. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. And uh, and uh, what do we do? So uh, uh, we are pretty big company already. Okay, and uh, it's really difficult to say what do we really do. Uh, probably we say what do we don't really do. Okay. So, um, but in a very simple way, so we are an uh, ecosystem. So we're representing lots of different types of business, and we put them together. So we are kinds of uh, a platform of many, many different platforms. Okay, and the good thing is we make this platform happen. You know, uh, you know, by using the technology, and uh, and our cloud you know, represents as the you know the combination of the, all of the technology we have for uh, for this um, okay our ecosystem we are representing for. Okay. Um, so here is, uh, you know, um, you know what do we do? Okay, from Alibaba Group perspective. So um, in terms of industries, we have in uh, retail, okay, uh, global, you know, e-commerce platforms, many different types of, um, uh, you know, types of uh, trading, you know, B two B, B two C, uh, you know, C two C, and also O two. So many different types of uh, trading, you know, for for the retail. Uh, especially for the cross border, okay. Our first, you know, is a trading platform is a global B two B trading platform uh, for global uh, trading, uh, especially between U.S. and uh, China. The first one we launched 20 years ago, and the second one, the marketing. Uh, you know, we had we had third one is the finance. Uh, we have our financial cloud. So one part of our business is uh, is Alipay. Uh, it's a uh, it is the biggest, you know, fintech company, okay, in the world, okay, and uh, and uh, yeah, again, so it's powered by Alibaba Cloud, and uh, for logistics, travel, manufacturing, entertainment, and healthcare, so this is you know, they are the major, you know, business units part of the Alibaba Group, all right, and uh, and the most important is, and all of that is running on top of Alibaba Cloud, so we do four major things, okay, from our side. First one is um, is the cloud infrastructure, global one. Okay, since uh, 20 years ago, we have already you know put the cloud infrastructure global one to support you know our trading platform globally. And the second one is uh, is the big data because uh, why on cloud? Because once you put your platforms, your you know uh, your business on cloud, you have your data on cloud. Just like once you have your you know money at home. Okay, and uh, it's not liquidity, but if you put your money in your bank, so you can you can transfer, you can trade. Okay, so and the third one is the is the, we call it the middle platform because we have many many types of the business. Okay, so we need the you know simplicity, and also we need to manage all of this business in a in a in a managed way. So we call it the you know the middle platform. That means all of applications can become very very thin. And it can run on top of the middle platform, you know, shared by, by you know, different uh, types of business, so which could be completely different from, from each other. And uh, the fourth one is the uh, it's AI, okay. So um, you know, for payments especially, and for shopping, uh, for marketing automation. So we have our AI driven, you know, technology for all of these industries. So uh, from Okay, but the market perspective, you know, we are at the moment we are, um, you know, number one in APEC region, including China. Okay, China is very um, special part of the world. Okay, and uh, I, but I call it very high, it's highly regulated in the market in the world. But it's a huge market in in, in the world, emerging market. Okay, and uh, and uh, globally we are number three at the moment, right? But as you can see. Um, 
Okay. Oh, it's, you can't really say it's um, the countries, but you can say, uh, you know, our at the moment our major, you know, the presence is uh, from China, and then from also China we have, uh, you know, the countries like the whole uh, southeast of Asia, uh, South Asia, East, North Asia, Middle East, uh, and also uh, the Australia. So for the entire APEC region plus Middle East, so we we are very fully covered, and uh, and then we are doing the um, you know uh, expansion from you know from the east to the west to the um, you know the Europe, okay, and also to US, okay. Yeah, that's uh so. Very, very simple way to compare is uh, you guys probably know uh, AWS. So we are the kind of the AWS from the east of the world. AWS is the one from the, the west of the world. So it's the best, easy way to, to compare AWS and us. But why uh, us? Simple, because so we can we you know we support the business. You know, lots of lots of companies business expansion to the east of the world. Okay, into China, to the Asia, you know, East, East, East of Asia, APEC region. So that's, um, you know, uh, how we position ourselves. Um, so technically, okay, we are, uh, we are, we are very uh, leading already, okay, because um, uh, as I can see, the most difficult customer of us is Alibaba Group. Okay, because the you know the the, you know, the complex business model of the Alibaba Group itself. So in order to serve uh, our own business, you know requirements, it's really tough. I would say it's it's never stop. Okay, and uh, uh, what's day today? Two days ago, we just had the um, our Double Eleven uh, shopping festival. It's um it's the it's the shopping festival created by uh, by Alibaba. Uh, it's uh, similar to the Black Friday shopping festival in the West, okay, but that is the one from the East, okay, so, and uh, during that, you know, during that day we made uh, very big, you know, the, you know, the big sales and the transactions and uh, payments, you know, through that day, single day, uh, 24 hours, um, right, okay, so, um, some some major differentiations, you know, uh, I would say from four parts. The first one is technology itself, okay. Second one, the products, because uh, we make uh, lots of different technologies, you know, into the into into products, okay. So people can really use, can share, can you know, build things on top of these products. And then we don't really make technology for fun. We make make technology for business. So business itself and also the ecosystem behind the thing is the why. Okay, so for example, we have many customers from, uh, we, at the moment we are ma uh, focused on four major sectors. First one is the retail, okay, so uh, trading, global trading. Um, second one is the finance, especially for the payments, okay. And uh, third one is, uh, uh, is, is the government. We work with many governments in globally. And the fourth one is uh, we uh, focus on the internet itself. Okay, so so the major uh, you know ecosystem you know so we are we are sitting on on top of them and uh, and so the business whole driven by the technology itself. Okay, so um, so get back to the um, uh, the infrastructure infrastructure we having at the moment. Okay, as you can see, we're from China. Okay, and uh, and now we are expanding you know, really globally, and now we are sitting. In uh, in UK, okay. So UK, we made uh, significant investment in the past years. We built up two major, you know, the you know uh, DC plants, you know, in in London, okay, to connect the whole world, okay. And especially for the FX industry, so we work with many uh, FX companies, brokers, you know, already, you know, for uh, supporting their business expansion into the east of the world, especially to into China. Okay, and also to reach you know the far end of the whole uh, Asian market, um, as you can see, uh, especially in China and Asia, you know the business, you know the GDP, everything is uh, is getting is improving every year. Okay, and the you know the FX business is getting really more and more popular, you know, in the east, you know, of the world, and also China's market regulation is changing, um, you know, in a improved way. Okay, every quarter I would say so um, so yeah so this FX business is getting really popular okay so it's the worth uh, I would say about around 70% of the transaction happening in the east of the world right okay so in order 
So that's the one we started about 20, 20 years ago. We built up the, the big global you know, the connectivity network you know, backbone for our own business. Okay, so support our you know global you know cross border trading, um, from especially for for the trading tr from China to reach the reach the U.S. Okay, that's the initial ones, and then now we have uh, you know the global you know the backbone can really reach into almost every corner of this uh, this world. Um, Compliance, security and compliance, that's a topic, you know, uh, for especially for the finance industry. But I would say, um, you know, we are very good at it, good at this is compliance these things because, uh, you know, our own business have to be compliant, especially for our finance business, our global payments, trading, you know, entertainment, you know, uh, IP things related. So we are highly, our whole own business highly uh, compliant with the, you know, the regulations from each, each, each region, okay. Uh, and uh, and uh, so and thanks to Alibaba's you know cloud contribution, so our home business can be can be really you know um, you know sitting in um, um, a good position globally. And uh, again, also security. You know, we run many different uh, uh, platforms, and um, you know, in order to keep the platform alive, can function properly. So we have very 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 strong you know self built you know the security products can protect you know them. Uh, right, okay. Uh, for fintech companies, okay, so uh, we are the world's biggest fintech company, okay, so we really have a very um, you know, good understanding of the challenges, you know, from our own, you know, business, and also we share this technology with our partners, with our, you know, um, ecosystem, okay, we are very, very much partner-centric company, okay. So, uh, especially for the for the data side. So in China, it's about one third of uh, data running on top of Alibaba Cloud. Okay, and uh, globally we have um, you know collaboration with many companies. You know, you know by you know using our data technology. Okay, we are not data company, but we we work with partners. You know, by sharing our data technology with our partners. So that's the first one. Second one is scalability and the resi resilience. Okay, so because we know the business community is very important, so we need to ensure that it happen. And network and availability and the latency. That's uh, especially we are improving this almost every every month. Okay, so for example, we have uh, you know the you know the data center you know in London. We have uh, you know, the, the trading company based in London, but they can reach to into China with a very 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 small latency. Okay, so to cover uh, you know the rest of this um, you know the uh, the world customers. So in China, in Southeast of Asia, in Australia, and uh, regulations, compliance, um, resource, and information security, privacy protection. Okay, um, yeah, and uh, this is how we, we you know, to take our tackle these uh, is the challenges. In the first one is, uh, I would say, it's global, uh, you know, connectivity. That is the first important thing. You know, um, we divide the whole world into different regions. So we have uh, the mainland of China. This is the most, you know, uh, is the way we're from. And uh, also the full whole entire APAC region, the second one we are very good at. And third one is the EMEA region, so Europe and uh, Middle East. And the fourth one is the, for the uh, North America. So not really into South America yet, but it's, it's on our roadmap. And security and privacy, okay. So we have very strong products like Entity DOS, WAF, Security Center, can give us a protection. And the uh, third one, infrastructure, because you know, for the FX company, the compute is um, it's very, very demanding. So okay, we have very good, strong compute products, plus storage, and also our, you know, the, we, the variance in you know, the types of the, the database. And again, global expansion. We have 20 regions, many AZ, and, uh, and we always per, you know, position ourselves as the, the, the gateway okay, to, for the business from the, east, from the west to reach the east, especially into the China. Okay, Chinese market is huge at the moment. Um, so in all following slides, I'm showing you some, some 
typical, you know, sample uh, solution for the uh, global uh, coverage, okay, especially for the, you know, MT, MT4, MT5 in the proxy servers, how it can reach, okay, so into China, okay, through our, you know, global network, you know, architecture. So GA is our, we call it global uh, acceleration. So you see the first product, you know, you know, we can work with the existing MT4 backend, Okay, so you put the proxy servers, you know, you know, so you know, near the, your the clients, and the clients can connect to the proxy servers, you know, through the internet. So it's the first one, and the second product is uh, our uh, flagship, you know, uh, global connectivity product. We call the CEN. CEN stands for, uh, you know, um, you know, cloud enterprise network. So we really build up um, a global network for each, for every enterprise customer. Okay, so they can easily, you know, set up their, you know, uh, coverage from, you know, wherever you are based, okay, and then they reach the whole rest of the world. For example, here, if you have your empty backend server, you know, in US, okay, and, uh, and, but you want to give the good coverage of your, you know, the, some emerging markets, like take the China example, so we can build up, you know, the, you know, proxy servers, you know, on, uh, other cloud in China to be closer to your, uh, you know, users, okay? And so you already have your Japan, your Hong Kong, you know, uh, servers, you know, there. And through CEN, okay, you know, you can give the connectivity with a very low latency and shared bandwidth, scalability, and uh, to give the, you know, the connectivity between, okay, some different regions. Okay, normally, uh, you know, Europe, uh, China, London for Europe, okay, Japan, uh, Hong Kong, you know, uh, Singapore, um, and the uh, US, okay, right. And uh, this is another one, simplified, if some smaller, you know, companies, okay, so normally, you know, they trade between, okay, so, you know, US and so China, so you can just simply build up, you know, the, the region in Japan or, or Shanghai, for example, and Shanghai is the, uh, the financial district center of China, okay, through the CEN, but with multiple, multiple links give you resilience. And uh, the third one is, uh, take example, with Hong Kong and Shanghai and Shenzhen, because China is, uh, is pretty big as well. It's got North, East, and South, Okay, so you can you can have separate you know the you know, regions. Okay, to give that, but we give the good connectivity through the. Uh, I don't want to mention that, but I will have to say it's a call it's either the China Great Firewall. Okay, so it's uh, you know sitting between you know China in mainland of China and outside the world. Okay. Um, and again, the data, you know, data, our data technology like AI, big data, you know, tools, analytics, and the machine learning things, you know, it can help with the, you know, FX industry, especially for the risk management control, okay? And second one is the prevision, uh, precision marketing, you can reach your, uh, you know, target users, you know, help you to convert your potential customer to your real customers, okay? Um, yeah, and uh, KYC and also anti-fraud to so protect you know, the transactions, right? And yeah, and we support our customers and uh, there are some existing customers of us we've been working with and we have, globally we have already got, you know, you know over, at least over 100 of ex brokers working with us uh, uh, in the world. Okay, um, right. Okay, so that's the, on my brief, you know, sharing, okay, to so give you um, your quick, you know, feeling about, you know, uh, Alibaba itself business and how we can help with, you know, your business from Alibaba's perspective. Okay, so any questions from your side? Yeah, okay. I can share with you, yeah, sure. Yeah, no problem. Um, the material for the MT4, yeah. do you have it on the website as well? Can, you access, can we access it from somewhere? Yeah, we're building up the landing page for that. But before, before the availability of that, we can, you can, we can share this information with you with emails if you have yeah, of course. emails. Yeah, I share with you guys. Yeah. So, oh, mm. Specifically for the connection within China, yeah. uh, a broker would have to get uh, like the ones in Hong Kong, hmm. they can use their existing ones and you can provide the connection or, you, or they yeah. would have to get one of your servers. Hmm. Good question. So, um, 
for example, like this, okay? So um, you can have our server, you know, perform as the proxy, okay? For example, take Shanghai near your, if it is near your clients, okay? But, you know, we can put your, uh, you know, get the connectivity. If you take Hong Kong, maybe Equinix, mm -hmm. you know, your, your own data center. So you, you can just, we can build up the connectivity from your, our server, our proxy server, near your clients and through our CEN connectivity to reach your clients, uh, your server, sorry, your data center in Hong Kong, Equinix, for example. So I can use my one. Definitely. And I can use one of your uh, to the reach the NGI and I, uh, engines. Yes. One of those. So exactly to reach your uh, your clients, you result any change to your existing infrastructure, you know, oh, okay. architecture. Mm. So you can take care of the uh, of the activity, all the network activity from the proxies within China. Yeah, and push back to your your data center in Hong Kong, for example. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's exactly what we are doing for with over 100 FX progress already. Yeah, and it's uh, been tested for you know, many times. It does work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, very glad to see it because uh, mm. I wasn't aware that mm. this service was available. Mm. And I know that MT4, once you, um, you start you know, um, uh, redirecting the, uh, the activity and all that, it might give you some problems. Mm. But it's good to see that it's been tested and that it can actually uh, help yeah. clients. So advantage of that, first of all, it's very uh, scalable. So you can, you know, you can, uh, you know, uh, adjust the bandwidth as you wish. You don't really, you know, stick to a fixed term contract. It's completely pay as you go. Okay, so you can increase your bandwidth, decrease your bandwidth, depending on your requirements. Okay, you don't waste money. And the second one is uh, no fixed term contract. So you can, you can stop using that if you want. Okay, and uh, even better, the third one is the bandwidth is that we, we deliver as the, in the format of the package. So you can have multiple links, okay, and share your uh, share the package. If you have, so most customers have a package like a uh, hundred Mac, but you can just uh, uh, allocate maybe twenty to this link, thirty to that link, and uh, the rest to somebody, okay. And uh, you can change the allocation anytime you want. It's it's like a load balancing. Um, Load balance is definitely, it's a, it's fully mesh network. It's very resilient and low latency, but the band package is, uh, is the, your more for the, your uh, purchasing. You don't really purchase, you know, the bandwidth for each link. Yeah. You purchase the bandwidth package shared by links. Okay. Yeah. For example, now we have some customer, you know, the, uh, they already have their data center, you know, in London. Okay, and in uh, Hong Kong, in Japan, okay, so how, in the, our initial discussion is how we can help them to, to reach, you know, the, you know, the big region, you know, through these three existing, you know, data centers, okay. So in that case, okay, we build up more regions, like a three region inside of China, and a region in Australia, in Middle East, Okay, mm -hmm. and connected back to their three major, you know, uh, you know, data center in Hong Kong, Japan, and uh, London. Okay, so that's how it works. So multiple links, but multiple links, you don't, we don't expect them to spend lots of money by lots of links. So okay. you buy bandwidth package instead of links, share the package. All right, that's great. And one, uh, it's a little technical. Um, uh, you mentioned London. Yeah. Um, do you know approximately the milliseconds to the the, the clients that kind of mm -hmm. I connect them within China. Okay, so I'll give you some real figures. So at the moment, we, we are we improving these figures every, every month. At the moment, from London, okay, Equinix, okay, mm -hmm. to reach from uh, London to Shanghai. So the lat lat latency at the moment is about 130 milliseconds. That's very good. Yeah, I think it's very good <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you.